In the last video you have learned about the while and in this video we are going to start learning about for. For it's another type of loop. It will make it the same thing as while. There is zero different mean between both of them. However, it is just a matter of maybe different uh, variation. It's just a matter of variation between uh, the syntax and so on and so forth. So they have the same goal in mind. Okay, so feel free even if you want to skip this video okay this is really optional now let's see that in action so I'm gonna define for I want to do the same thing I want to print from 0 all the way to 5 so I will type for count okay it's a variable that, we, that it will create it or it will take it as an iterator by default okay for count in 0 dot dot that mean all the way to the five okay i want you to do this thing print ln like so i will bring the count variable and its value so for or it's mean while or as long as count or this will it's a variable that it's like uh, it will be created automatically and it will initially give the value of zero okay so count in between 0 and this thing 5 you can give it any range for example uh, any range for example 0 all the way to 10 okay so from 0 all the way to 10 so these two dots or periods being added to specify the range okay as long as count is between these two values I want you to print the count value let's click on run and you will see one two three four five six seven all the way to the ten like so now what's different between the while and um, the for here it's just a matter of syntax for example with the while we need to specify the operator itself whether it's a small than greater than or small than and so on and so forth but with this thing right here we can just specify this stuff like so so if i can change the value of count if i want so i will make it five okay so if i do this something like this so as you can see the five of or the value of count depending on the first here the the start of the range whatever you will give it here it will be the value of count make sense so if we make it uh, 10 and here we need to change it to 20 oops like so then the value of the count will initially be 10 makes sense if we click on run we are gonna get from 10 all the way to 20 like so so this is really the idea now for me and what I think for it's more maybe a bit cleaner the syntax it's a bit cleaner and understandable more from the while because while we have to use the stuff like this for example um, if you want to update a value you need to type count okay then equal to the count plus one or as a short for this what you can do you can type count plus plus this thing right here count plus plus is the exact same thing for count equal to the count plus one so this is just a shorthand and also we have to use these operators like the equal the greater than the smaller than all these stuff that we can use it this is i think it's just a bit confusing for new developers new programmers especially with kotlin once it comes with android studio you will see some really weird stuff okay so i just want to let you know anyways this is how you can create while it is very very easy it's a bit more dynamic hopefully that makes sense if it is let's jump over and end this section to start working with android studio thank you guys so much for watching and see you in the next one